My name is Jeff Kuhn. I'm a Senior Technical Specialist with ATG. For our Tech Talk today, I'll demonstrate how to use the Assembly category in Revit to create and document door types and details for your Revit project. Revit assemblies allow you to combine any number of model elements to create an assembly that can be edited, tagged, scheduled, and filtered. To begin, our door type assembly, simply select a door within your Revit project. From the Modified Doors tab under the ribbon, simply select the Create Assembly category. From the New Assembly dialog, simply give your, or your assembly a name type. In this case, we'll just say Door Type 1 and hit OK. From the Project Browser, you can see under our assemblies category list here, our door type one has been created. With the assembly still selected, we have some assembly options to edit or create specific views for that particular assembly. Simply select the create views command, and from the create assembly views dialog, we get some options. We can set a particular scale to our views that we generate from our assembly. Simply select the pull down from the scale list and select the scale you would like to use for that particular view type. We also can create specific views for our particular assembly. In this case, we want to create a 3D view, a plan view, a section, and a front elevation. We also can set a view template if one has been generated or created within your Revit project. Simply select OK to complete the command. From the assemblies list under the pull down, we can see the views that have been generated from our assembly. Simply double click to see that view. Just like other views within your project, you can adjust and change the scale and the graphic visibilities of that particular view. You can also select the view and delete it if it's not applicable. To add views, simply go back to your floor plan, select the assembly, and select the Create Views command again. Uncheck the views of views that have already been selected. and select the new views to be generated. You also have the ability to duplicate views within the assembly as well. From here, we can begin to generate our door frame types and our door panel types within our assembly. We can also begin to create and generate detail views from our sections of our particular door types. We can crop our views within our assemblies.
once the views have been generated, we can begin to detail the door, jam, head, and sill for that particular door frame type. Simply add detail lines and detail components to begin the process of annotating and detailing your particular door detail. Once the detail components and line work have been added, adding annotation is as simple as adding simple text and annotation to your particular detail. Once your detail is complete, simply place the door detail view by selecting it and placing it on your sheet. The same can be done for your frame elevations and your door types. Thank you for checking out our Tech Talk for today. Please check out our ATG website to see all of our different products, services, training, technical support, and resources that you can utilize for all your Revit needs. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.